Sydney at Sydney Harbour is an amazing place to be. I always love travelling here. And we've got a masterpiece of structural engineering behind us, the Sydney Opera House. I'm here to present at an event called Radius, run by Penn. To my fellow engineers, we have a problem with our profession. It's of our own making. So it's time that we have a talk. As engineers, we work long hours, work many hours overtime to make sure that project's delivered on time. We're relatively underpaid compared to other professions with similar level of responsibility. That's not to say that we're poorly paid, just relatively to other industries that we could be in. Most of the time, we're not given the respect for the amount of responsibility that we have. If we make a mistake, we could affect many lives in one go. So our job requires a lot of responsibility and a lot of dedication to make sure that we're designing buildings effectively. Now, all these things that I'm talking about are just symptoms of the same problem. See, engineering has developed a branding issue. And there's really no one else that we can blame for this problem other than ourselves. You see, engineers are typically humble, introverted, and love to solve problems. So we like to sit in the background solving all the issues and making some of those dreams come to reality. Instead of truly advertising the benefits that we can bring to the table and how good engineering can help push your project further. So when we're talking about engineering, it's about investing in engineering and not seen as a cost as it currently is today. Much like this temporary structure behind me, help support this channel by pressing down on the like button. It really helps me out and allows this content to get out to more people. This branding issue has slowly built over time. It's like the frog in the pot, slowly boiling over in time, not realizing the water is getting too hot. Engineers back in the day were respected for the work that they were doing. It was considered to be a noble profession that could change the world. Basically, engineers were the people that would bring people's ideas and dreams into reality. And there's no better example of this than structural engineers. They take the dream and drawings of the architect and put the structure within it to make sure it's structurally stable and stands up over time. You see, we haven't actually been able to see the problem with our industry until recently with the additional pressures that have been put on, on fees going down and the cost of construction materials going up. Serious defects continue to damage the reputation and value of many Sydney apartment towers. More Australian building companies are facing financial ruin. According to industry experts, a perfect storm, including supply issues and skyrocketing costs, has led to the dire situation. Hundreds of residents from Mascot Towers remain homeless tonight. Another building company has collapsed, leaving a trail of incomplete homes in its wake. These photos taken inside one of the apartments show the extensive cracking isn't limited to the structural support beam in the garage. When you talk about inflation running at, say, 6%, now you've got building costs on average in the last 12 to 18 months have gone up 35%. And as these cost of materials have started to affect the industry and now fees have been going down, we can start to see the cracks forming more and more with more issues with buildings going on within Australia. And as the quality material has been rising and the designs have been relatively safe due to the codes and standards that we need to hit, it takes a long time before these cracks can actually appear. And this has made some people complacent within the industry. And we can start to see the cracks forming more and more with the problems that we're having within the industry and some of the buildings that we're seeing fail recently. So unless we start to address this issue, it's only going to get worse and worse over time. So what do we need to do? We need to build the brand of engineering, showing the benefits that we bring to the table and why you should invest in good engineering and how it's not just a cost, but actually an investment to make sure your project goes smoothly, more efficiently and lasts into the future. Instead of saying engineering is a cost, you invest in engineering. Good engineering is beneficial not only for you, for the project, how the project comes together and the longevity of that project. So we need to work together to help bring the profile of engineering up. And this can be done through just educating and showing people the benefits that engineers bring, whether that be on that one-on-one -on -one talks or more vocally like I'm doing on this YouTube channel. And I would encourage everyone to start to bring their own personal branding to the situation as there was a lot of benefits to you building your profile on a national stage. And when you build your personal profile, not only does it help the industry, but it can also help yourself as well. So what's the sum of the benefits of you building your own personal brand? We get recognized within your industry as a go-to person and you might bring in that additional work that is much needed. You will also get people reaching out to you. So you'll find additional opportunities that you may not have known that were actually available to you. 
It also gives you additional opportunities to build those relationships, whether it be local engineers, architects, or other builders, bringing you opportunities that you may not have thought you had available to you. It also helps you overcome some of the imposter syndrome that you have. As anyone that's good at their profession will feel some sort of imposter syndrome as they realize how much they don't know. But when you actually start presenting and showing people the knowledge that you have, the more you realize that you know more than you actually think you do. And you also become more retainable as this becomes a benefit to both you and the company that you work for. So you really bring the career profession into your hands. So it allows you to control your career which previously you didn't have that ability. If you're just in it for yourself, people will quickly realize that and realize that you're not genuine and you won't be able to stick out for the hard work. And it's not about you, but it's about building your passion, your knowledge and your excitement for the profession instead of the actual benefits that it brings to you. You see, with this channel, I don't make any money of it. Yes, money is coming in, but every dollar that I get in is invested back into the channel to make this content better for you. So hopefully together we can help build up the profile of our industry and bring it back into the next decade. I'd just like to give a quick shout out to Matteo Charles who painted this amazing picture. It was a real privilege and you'll definitely see it in my YouTube studio. If you want to learn about from one of the most knowledgeable forensic engineers with over 45 years experience, he has invaluable insight that I'll link up here. And if you're interested in supporting the channel, there is two ways that you can do this. You can either become a YouTube member or a Patreon member. Without the support of my YouTube and Patreon members, this type of content would not be possible. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and I'll see you next week. Bye.